So do you feel like you're walking the spiritual tightrope? If so, I got a great verse for you today. Now, we're going to be closing off the book of Galatians real soon here. So remember, go to the website, grab the First Samuel Scripture Journal from our website today so that you're ready to go with First Samuel when we begin. Of course, I love these scripture journals. They're a great way for us to read the Bible text on one side so you can follow along with me, but also take notes on the other so you can chronicle your journey through another amazing book. But today we're going to be in Galatians chapter 5. I'm reading verses 25 through 26. It states, if we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. So this verse might seem like just an add-on here at the end of chapter 5, but it's not. Paul is explaining the spiritual tightrope that we walk each day. The tightrope between an old form of arrogance and a new form of arrogance. The cliff on one side is a life directed by proud, fleshly desires. The cliff on the other side is a life lived by the Spirit, but tempted by a righteous manifestation of pride that steals credit for what the Spirit does through us. So hopefully you see that once you've been a believer long enough, you're going to learn to walk in the Spirit. You will. But sometimes as we are walking in the Spirit, we're going to feel a sense of pride for the fruit that is produced through us that Paul was talking about in the previous verses. But we have to be careful at this point because righteous arrogance is just as insidious as unrighteous arrogance. Thus, we have to keep our step as we walk this tightrope to ensure we're not tipping either way. On the one side, we could tip into selfish arrogance, and on the other side, we tip into self-righteous arrogance. So, church, are you watching your step as you live by the Spirit today? I hope so. I love you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I pray this has blessed you. If it has, share it with someone else, and I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.